Thanks for tuning in to this Community Connection Spotlight. Joining me this morning is Mandy Brumwell and Laura Boyd with Boy Scouts of America. Thank you both for being here. Thank, Thank you. you. So we're here to talk about a, a very important event coming up, Scouting for Food Drive. Yes. yes All right. Can you tell us a little bit about what the drive aims to do? It aims to help feed those families in Great Falls that don't necessarily have the means to uh, pay for food themselves. It kind of helps them get through the winter and this kind of gets the food bank up and running for the whole year. Okay. It's their biggest activity. So. Great. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to cut you off there. No, you're good. Um, so, and there's two events or two food drives happening. Yes. Okay. Can we know a little bit more about when those will take place? Uh, the first one is this Saturday, uh, the 10th. Uh, the boys, boys, both Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts will come around with uh, bags and flyers. The flyers will be inside the bags and they're going to hang them on the doorknobs um, and people get to fill them up from there. And then on the 17th, uh, the Boy Scouts and Cub Scouts will come along as well. Um, you'll probably see them with vehicles slowly driving down the alleys <laughs> or the roads, uh, looking for bags on porches so that way they can bring them to the food bank and get them all weighed and you know see how, see how much we earn this year. Very neat. Now between the two drives, mm -hmm. do you guys have um, a goal on how much you're hoping to raise? Yeah, it's all one food drive. So you have a week to fill your bags. The bags get dropped off on the 10th and then we pick them up on the 17th. Um, and our goal this year is 22,000 pounds or more. Wow, We're great. hoping for the more. We're hoping for the <laughs> more, exactly. <laughs> sure, and have you been able to collect um, or meet your goals in the past when collecting mm -hmm. food? Yes. Yep. Every year. Wow, that's so. amazing. And it <laughs> speaks for the uh, community support in the Great Falls area. It seems mm -hmm. like it's been well supported here. And this yes. is the 24th annual, annual. Wow. food drive. So yes. that's amazing. It's a long event, a long history. Yes. Definitely. Um, what are people, what are you guys looking for for people who want to donate? Uh, what kind of items should they um, put in the bags? Non-perishable. No baby food or glass jars because uh, those can get broken and baby food doesn't last as long. But uh, boxes of cereal, pasta, noodles, canned goods um, of just about any kind would be much appreciated. Mm -hmm. Juices. Yeah, canned juices if you can. <laughs> <laughs> or, you know, the carton type uh, stuff. Okay. So wonderful. Um, I'm trying to think here. And in case, you know, those of us just tuning in, it's going to happen for two Saturdays yes. here. The 7th and the 10th or, sorry, and the 17th. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, there's 7th and 7th in yeah. there somewhere. All right. And for those that miss the day, you know, maybe they're not home during that day, can they still donate? And Absolutely. Yes. Um, they can take it to the food bank during normal business hours for the food bank, or they can take it up to the scout office at um, 820 17th Avenue South. Yes. They can also call the scout office at 761-6000 and they will tell them if there's other drop-off spots around town. Yes. Okay, great. And just for additional information, where can people go um, before the food drive starts? Or They can come to the Great Falls Community Food Bank and talk with uh, Sean or Beth. Let them um, know they're dropping it off in support of the Boy Scout food drive. And they can also get a hold of the scout office and they'll be directed to either Mandy or I. Mm -hmm. okay. So Great. Well, thank you both for being here. That's all the time that we have for this Community Connection. Really appreciate you coming on this morning. Thank Thanks you. Thanks so much. All right. And all that information can be found on our websites as well, KRTV and KXLH. Thanks so much for watching.